We started Love to Table because we had an abundance of apples in our garden. It suddenly became that we had so many apples we didn't even know what to do with them, and we didn't want them to rot. So we started to make pies. And that was where we first started to think of what if we served this really simple meal of apple pies and tea to the homeless. A lot of us have lived in San Francisco, and so the Tenderloin community was something that we usually lived in or near, and so the community was really important to figure out how to bring love to, and so we went there first. They found this idea of serving people in a full-fledged uh, restaurant free of charge. Let those people who are not capable to go to a restaurant and see it like those who are having money, they can do the same experience, go and sit and be served without paying money. To find people with that heart, that they are thinking for people to that extent. This is one of my aim to, 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 to do it in my life. So when I started volunteering with Love to Table, they were running a restaurant in the Tenderloin, and I had never experienced working with the homeless before other than you know walking past someone and maybe buying someone a sandwich or giving someone some change. I think that's so important to not give people scraps, to not give people things that you wouldn't want to eat or that you wouldn't want to try or that you know looks unappealing or you know is not nutritionally good for you. I think it's just amazing to be able to give people farm to table food served with love. I think that is just a revolutionary concept. You know, a big difference that I noticed with Love to Table and, you know, your normal soup kitchens and, and stuff like that was that it it had this flavor of humanity in it where you wouldn't think it's a, a restaurant for the homeless. You know, there's these high quality, really nourishing farm to table food. I remember noticing one one homeless person just who was clenching their bag so tight that like as a person just put the plate down and put the food, they they finally like let go and like put the bag on the floor and just enjoyed sitting at the restaurant and then she started talking to the people next to her and, and all of a sudden it was very lively versus you know what you would normally see at a soup kitchen where you know you just take your plate, go and sit down in your own little corner and stuff like that. When COVID came, we had to stop the restaurant, which was very sad for us, but we were determined to keep serving love in whatever way we could. So we created love tables where we would bake and we would do everything we could to create these beautiful tables that we'd, we would leave in different parts of California for anyone who wanted some food in this big pandemic and crisis. And that was, something that we were really excited about doing for the interim, but it lacked that human connection that really fulfilled us when we were doing it originally. We found eventually a shelter in Santa Rosa, and that was just the perfect element of having enough distance that it was safe for COVID, but also having that kind of connection where we were really in a direct relationship with people who could eat the food. to the living room garden today to have a garden day with all of the women at the shelter who come every Saturday. We started going to this garden in October 2020 where originally the earth was left fallow for so long that we needed to break it up with a jackhammer to just get the earth open again to be able to plant anything in it. We unearthed it, we put cover crop over it, and we just started to get the soil back alive. And then starting this spring, we began to actually plant in it. And over the last few months now, we've been planting sunflowers and purple snap peas and kale and lettuce and tomatoes. And now we have a really beautiful thriving garden and we're gonna go and we're gonna weed today and just tend to the whole garden with the women at the shelter. It gives you a lot of pride because um, 
the earth is really special to me. And uh, I think working with it, when I didn't know we had this, and then you guys came to my door and knocked on it, has been the best, the best thing that could happen to me. We partner with a lot of farms here in Northern California who give the excess of their produce to us to use for our meals for the homeless. Really, as a whole, we were looking at how do we create this system of food where there's excess being brought to where there's food that's in need in a way where love and dignity is transmitted in the process. Thank you. Well, I'm going to go on your man, so it won't go to waste. Oh my God, I know I got that smile, right? Can you put the mask on it? Look at mine, look at mine. Have a great day.